I think the results were very conclusive. Whether people like him or not, those results were very conclusive. But after 2018, Stacey Abrams lost by 55,000 votes. We had about 10 lawsuits. Roll it forward. We had some in 2020, obviously, on the other side. But I don't anticipate any. I think what we've shown, the equipment has been through, been through elections. Same equipment, and these are the results. And so we fully expect that people will accept the results. I think that would be a healthy thing for our republic. Yeah, we had a, about four or five of those precincts uh, were closed as, you know, dogs went through there and swept. Uh, some of them were like 20 minutes and one was up to 50 minutes. But other than that, that was just about four or five in the entire state with well over 65. We identified very early on that it was foreign based. Uh, we said it was Russians. In the afternoon, the FBI confirmed that. So we just continued on and so did the poll workers. And really the law enforcement said, you, it's safe, continue working. It's not a credible threat. We've identified it, uh, we believe it's foreign. Again, the Russians, you know, now sending out additional disinformation, and that was really happened in several locations throughout the entire country. But the federal authorities will actually weigh on that, but that's our uh, initial determination. We want ba everyone basically to have, you know, free, fair, and fast elections. I think that's very important. We then expect people to follow the law. Uh, I don't believe with the results that we've had, there'd be any questions in doubt who actually won the state of Georgia. I've been very clear. I called the race probably at 10.45 p.m. National news media didn't want to pick it up, but uh, I called the call governor at 10.30 to let him know this is the way it was going to go. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.